past night, Vice President Agnew seemed to be quite definite about the Republicans going into office in the state capitol in November. Would you care to comment on the Vice President's address? Well, a lot of people in Richmond were saying this morning that they thought that uh, Vice President Agnew should probably spend some more time in Washington and work on problems such as inflation and tight money and our international problems that we have and leave Virginia politics to us. Uh, we think that we're going to have, that our Democratic ticket is going to be elected in November, and we think that uh, the momentum is beginning to pick up for us now. We hear with increasing frequency that there is a possibility we will have a Republican governor and a Democratic lieutenant governor and attorney general. Would you find this an untenable situation? I think that we'd better not to have a split. Uh, I feel that we, we should try to unify our government in Virginia and bring people together. We want a governor that, that works with a lieutenant governor that ran on the same platform. Uh, this is the kind of government we've had in the past and the best kind of a government. Uh, there were some endorsements over the weekend that people felt gave Mr. Houghton uh, a certain edge. It's our feeling that the large majority of Virginians are independent-minded people. They don't vote in blocks. They don't necessarily go with particular endorsements. The strength of our party over the years has been that we have tried to uh, make ourselves felt in the minds of, of right-thinking Virginians uh, who want responsible government, uh, who want a government that pays its own way, who want a government that uh, strengthens its educational system. And this is what we've worked on the last four years.